Great. It's not nice hitting our guests. It's warm it's welcome, rude. you know? See if I ever come back here. Yeah. Hello there, I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In today's episode of Kingdoms and Friends, we have two of the crew from DGen Gaming, MTG Nerd Girl and Astral's Flame. For the next couple months, we will be focusing on special guests that are coming to the upcoming Magic Summit. If you haven't heard yet, the Magic Summit is a fan-made Magic the Gathering convention with all of your favorite creators, artists, and icons. It's during the Brothers War pre-release weekend, and the winner of the main event pre-release will receive an unlimited Black Lotus. We have vendors, cosplayers, VIP lounge, panels, special events like Brandon Sanderson's Vintage Cube that you could actually play with him, LSV, John Finkel, and Reed Duke. Come check it out at mtgsummit.com and get your VIP passes now before they sell out. If you do decide to come, make sure to check out the socials of our special guests as they have some discount codes too. All right, let's hear a little bit more about our guests, our commanders, and then jump into the game. Hey guys, I am MTG Nerd Girl. I'm here as the owner of DGen Gaming, and I also brought with me Astral's Flame. Hey everyone, I'm Astral's Flame. We're here from DGen Gaming, and we are going to be giving the Kingdom Boys a run for their money. It's gonna be hot and heavy fire coming down from all sides. I brought Hanada, the Dawn Crowned. I'm gonna be casting some very large spells. I will say it's a borrowed deck, so I'm not sure which large spells, but we're gonna find some. I'm playing uh, Arcades today, just uh, tribal walls. We're gonna swing with uh, a bunch of ground molding at everybody. I'm jamming Zeatora the Incinerator. This is a bit of a pet project for me. Uh, so it features Vivian on the hunt to scale up a CMC ladder, Riveteer's Ascendancy to scale down as I sacrifice things to Zeatora, and then incorporating dice rolling, the initiative, giving everyone treasures in haste, and some other random shenanigans that just all work together. I'm going to play Agnes. This is toned down from the Commander Melee one. So it just has a bunch of haste creatures in there with stealing creatures for a turn to hopefully get in some fun attacks and create treasures and cast more hasty creatures. So just get a lot of haste out there. All right. Multiplayer. So I do get to draw. And we're going to go Hollow Fountain tapped and pass the turn. Draw. I will play a forest and I'll play Saruli Caretaker. This is a zero three defender. Uh, I can tap it and an untapped creature I control to add one mana to, of any color. Uh, I'll pass the turn. I will draw for turn here. I think I'll take the form of the big bad. I'm going to play a mountain here. I'll tap it and we're going to go with a turn one soul ring oh. and I'll pass the turn. <laughs> untap, upkeep, draw. Then I'll play a tap. Highland Forest, and then pass the turn. I shall draw, play an island, and an arcane signet. Pass the turn. Untap, draw a card. I'll play another forest. Play a wall of blossoms, which will allow me to draw a card. This comes into play. And then I will tap these two creatures using the caretaker to put in Birds of Paradise. And then I'll be done. I'll untap and uh, draw for turn. Tap the soul ring. Cast a Talisman of Resilience. Tap the Talisman for a green, so I'll take a point of damage and go down to 39. And I'll tap my mountain. Cast a Farseek. I'm going to go grab a uh, Zeotaurus Proving Ground, and I'll pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Tap for Birds of Paradise. I will play a mountain and tap it to play an Amulet of Vigor and pass turn. Let's untap. Play a Arid Mesa. I'm going to tap my Arcane Signet for a red and a blue, and I'm going to play a Young Pyromancer. I am going to go ahead and crack this fetch now, take a point of damage. I'm going to go ahead and get this Triome, and I'll pass the turn. Untap, draw a card. Uh, overgrown Farmland. Um, I do have two other lands. That's convenient. So I'll come in untapped. So I'm going to tap these four, making a blue. I play Arcades. I will attack with these flowery walls and trees and things. I'm definitely afraid of Hinata, but okay. I'm, I'm not doing nothing I'm over here. I'm afraid of Hinata. There's no, there's no butt really there. So yeah, Tora, I feel like you're going to get a bunch of like chump blockers, token-y things probably. Maybe. I'll send four at Astral and three at 
it, nerd girl. I will say no blocks, my friend. No blocks as well, and take the damage. Okay, passing the turn after that. Great. Not nice hitting our guests. It's Warm it's welcome, rude. you know? See if I ever come back here. here. Yeah. Play in Aspire Garden, and because we're all friends, it's going to be untapped. I'm going to go ahead and tap six. Talisman's going to produce a colorless here, and I'm going to try to keep some life. So we're going to play down a Worm Coil Shoo, engine. Ooh, baby. Oh, oh, oh. I'll, I'll pass the turn. You guys, guys are getting could, in the way of my plan of having Hasty's attack. Untap, upkeep, draw. Kind of like the Spire Garden. I'm going to know, take it up a notch and have this luxury suite come out. You're all invited. You know, it's part of the command zone. Thanks. Great. Perfect. Um, I will tap four, play Agnes, Dragon's Lash. And my only fair block because of Worm Coil and Arcades is, I'm sorry, MTG, Nerd Girl, but I'll attack you for three. Oh, boo. I take it. That will trigger it attacked. I'll create a tap treasure token. Amulet of Vigor will untap that treasure. Oh, that's what you're doing with that amulet. Okay. Pass turn. I will untap. I'm going to play a mana confluence. And I'm going to attempt to tap four to play Hanada. And that's my turn. Untap. I'll draw a card. Let's play a Felwar Stone. And then I'm going to tap it. Tap these two for a Fog Bank. So it'll enter. I'll draw a card. I'll pay two and play Stalwart Shield Bearers. It is a 0-3 defender for two. Other creatures you control defender get plus zero plus two. And I will draw a card. Yeah. Deserted Beach. Um, I can at least attack with my Vigilance Commander. I'll send that three at you, Astral. Got it. So I'll take uh, three commander damage. And that's my turn. All right, I will untap here and draw for turn. I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to play my super fun dice roll and call their Vexing Puzzle Box. Anytime I roll a dice, I'm going to put the result as counters on Puzzle Box. I can tap it to add a color of any mana to my mana pool, roll a d20. If it has 100 counters, I can tap it, remove the 100 counters, and go bring out any artifact from my deck onto the battlefield. I'm going to tap it to produce a red, so I will roll a d20. I'll get a one. <laughs> Great start. With three mana floating, I will cast a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Can't really go swinging your way, though, Carlos, because you've got that uh, prevent some combat damage. I don't really like that, but I think I'm going to go swing Worm Coil your way for six. I'd like to try to get some life. But I'm going to be taking six. Back up to 38 and pass the turn. And tip up, keep draw. I'll play another mountain. Oh, I see a threat on all of your boards. I have an innocent hit. flying cow. It's not hurting anybody. It's just grazing. I have three total spirit. power on my board, Rice. Yeah, but those butts are big, especially uh, with that three total stalwart power. shield it's bears. Just my commander, okay? He likes big butts and he cannot lie. Arcades does not lie. I'm paying one extra, so I'm casting Hijack, targeting Worm Coil for the turn. Worm Coil is going to go back at Astral Flame, and then so will Agnes. So that'll be nine damage total? Yeah, and trigger Agnes, creating another treasure. Second main phase, I'll sack the two treasure. You gain six life, Bryce. You should have a third treasure as well. So I'll sack the three treasures. Um, and play another haste creature, play Leah. Now I'm the Blade Reforger. And then I will pass turn. All right. Then it's Warm my coil, turn. The engine goes back. Yay. Pay three for, actually, I think it's two. This says choose one. If you control your commander, choose two. And one of the modes on it targets a player. So that should trigger Hanada, right? Yep. So I only, it's only two mana for me to cast Jessica's Will. So I get one Jeez. red for each card in target opponent's hand. So how much does everybody have? Four. Yeah, three. Four is the most. Then I exile the top three cards and I can play them this turn. And we're going to hit a Scolding Tarn. And I'm also, with the will, going to get a little elemental from my young pyromancer as well. Pay two to uh, generous gift Arcades. And you will get a bonus 3-3 three, three elephant to boot. And I'm going to let this exile one just die. And I get, get another little elemental for that. And I'm going to crack my scalding tarn to take one. And then I'll pass the turn after I get my land. Draw for turn. I'm going to send three damage at... Bryce, I'll send three at you. I, I took know. three. 
I will cast Fell the Mighty. It says, destroy all creatures with power greater than target creatures' power. I have to pay one extra, but I'm going to target my 0-3. Any creatures with over 3 power are destroyed. I am going to counterspell that. Oh, come on. Who plays counterspells? And make a dude. Well, I'll pass turn then. Thanks, NG. I'm not grateful. Kill my commander. <laughs> counter my spell. Drop. You still have the highest life total. I'll trade. You are looking the scary. You have a lot of stuff. For my commander and my spell not being countered. I'm going to choose to discard one card for Fable. I'm going to discard Archon of Cruelty. To oh draw my. I'll play down Urza Saga. I will move to combat. Carlos, I would like to attack you with my 2 2 Goblin. Rice, I'm going to send the Worm Coil engine back again. I'll go down another six. I will on, block. Attack trigger, uh, on attack trigger of the goblin, I'll make a treasure token. Healed six, going to 35. All right, main phase two. Pop my puzzle box for a red mana. I'll get a seven. I'll go to eight charge counters on the vexing puzzle box. That is a red, red, black fire garden for a green soul ring. And then I'll tap my talisman for six, and I will attempt to cast the Atora, the incinerator. So I'll move to end step, uh, Zeatora trigger on the stack, Worm Coil Engine will sacrifice. I'll deal the six damage to the Fog Bank, and I'll make my two three threes, one Life Link, and one Death Touch. But that is the end of my turn. Untap, pop, keep, draw. Play it Sulphur Springs. Then I'll tap all of these for Herbrask the Hidden. I will swing out at Carlos, triggering Agnes, and creating four treasure tokens. And there's a trigger on this, so I exile the top card of my library. It gets a one one counter whenever I exile something, and I can play that card until end of turn. So it's a 3-3 three, three now. And that exiled card is Beast Within. I will lock the two four fours with two zero, uh, zero five and a zero six. Then I will use these four treasures to cast Beast Within, um, paying the extra. And I get to choose who gets a 3-3. Zeator is going by buying to get another 3-3 token. I don't mind getting the 3-3. It's a uh, sack fodder for me. So that is Well, okay. plus we actually get to watch him doodle again, which is like win-win. It is. Is it my go? Yep. Pass turn. We're going to do something, you know, just pretty simple. We're not going to do anything crazy today. We are going to cast an Esper Sentinel. Let's go send Hanada to Bryce. That's four. Four giant cow damage. And uh, that will be my turn, guys. I will hang out. All right, deck. Draw a card. I think I play Arcades again for six mana. I'll play my tapped land. It is a scattered groves. All right, I'll pass turn. Raw. Saga trigger. Fable trigger. This will just go up to two, so I can make a zero zero colorless construct with, uh, it gets plus one plus one for each artifact I control. And Fable is now activating as the reflection of Kiki Jiki coming to play tapped. I'll tap puzzle box for a green, so we'll roll some more dice. I'll get a six. Use three treasures going to one. I'll make five, six, seven. And I'm going to cast an Ancient Bronze Dragon coming to play tapped. Bronze has the ability when it deals combat damage to a player, I roll a d20, I can add X where X is the result to up to two target creatures. I'll move to combat. NG, I'm going to swing my little 2-2 goblin your way just so I can make a treasure. It's a 2-2. If you want to kill it, you're welcome to. I will block with two of my elementals. I think I'm going to go at Carlos for three. I mean, uh, yeah, an O for wall. Trade on the elephant? Okay. Yeah. So that'll die. I will gain three life. I will pass the turn after. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Go to combat. MTG nerd girl, just so I can get the trigger. Birds of Paradise is going to come at you, so that's a zero one. This one is going to go at Astral Flame. All of these will go at Carlos, yeah. And then this gets exiled right there. And I get four treasures. I'm going to Start cycle a shark typhoon for two and make a little baby shark. Block your bird. It's a two-two. Comes in tapped. Oh no! Okay. You don't, you, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's it's fine. I'll block your commander with a six-six oh. and your other one with a five-five. Your praetor. Okay. So before damage is dealt, I'm gonna tap four for a chaos warp on Arcades. 
Not as much at that point. Are you going to pay one extra so that way yeah. I can draw Four. a card? Plus, uh, uh, oh, yeah. I will not. You can draw a card. Yep. Yay! Alrighty, here we go. It is a Wall of Omens. At least I get to draw a card. I take four damage from Layla. Go to my second main phase. Gonna do the one to do faceless looting to draw two, then discard two. And I will discard Overgrown Tomb and Cabal Coffers. Sacrifice a treasure going down to three to play Disciple of the Vault. And then I will pass turn. I will draw for turn. Play an island. All right, let's go three, four. I'm going to play Primal Amulet. I'm going to go send two flying to Bryce. Take two. That's it. Draw a card. Let's play one for a Noble Hierarch. A two for a Flump. I will play a tapped Celestia Sanctuary. Return this forest to my hand. That will be all. On Carlos's end step, I'm going to go ahead and cast Swords to Plowshares on the dragon. I will get a little counter here, and I will make another little elemental. Untap then. Go to draw for turn. I'll have an Urza Saga trigger, uh, so I will tap it in response to Float a Colorless. And I'm going to go grab an artifact that costs zero or one. Uh, I'll grab a Jeweled Lotus. Let's tap the Vexing Puzzle Box. Uh, I will make a red. We'll roll a d20. I have a good feeling. It's going to be above a 10. Nope. An 8. Terrible hey, rolls tonight. I had a good point. I'll tap the Jeweled Lotus and we'll sacrifice it to make 3 green. Talisman for a black. I'll take a point. That's 6. We'll go to 44. I'll tap my Soul Ring as well. Uh, attempt to recast the Zeotora. I'll tap 3 and sacrifice a treasure. Uh, so we'll make black, green, red. I'll tap that for red. And I will attempt to cast Mr. Orpheal, the Boulder. Whenever you attack, double target creature's power until end of turn. Declare attacks with my 3-3 Kitty Beast and double its power to 6 uh, at UNG. I will just block it with an elemental. I will move to my end step. So Zeotora trigger is on the stack. I'm going to select my beast token. Uh, it'll be targeting Urabrask for six damage. Okay. okay. Urabrask will die. But I will end my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. I will sacrifice these three treasures, um, flashing back Faithless Looting. Would you like to pay one for my Esper Sentinel? I will not draw a card. Disciple of the Vaults. You have some targets for that. Astral will bring you down three. Then this exiled a card, so when I do that, this ticks up one. Draw uh -oh. a card. Draw another card. Get rid of this forest and far seek. I'm going to tap for black here, losing a life. Tap for black with the luxury suite as well. Tap these two red for wrinkle, master of pranks. So that will come at astral. And these two will come at you, Carlos. Trigger here. Take the six, block the, the other. Take the three. And then this will trigger dealt combat damage then. And I will have everybody lose a life and draw a card. I shall lose life and draw a card. And I get three treasures. And I will play Urborg so everybody has swamps. You're Huzzah. my best friend. Sacrificing three treasures. All three damage will go to Astral to play Viridian Reveal. I'll tap these two for a Loyal Apprentice. Pass turn. Oh, you said pass turn. In my, I heard abstern, and I was like, what the heck's that? Abstern. That's, That's a weird stage card magic, name. Abstern. Pay three, and I'm going to do fact or fiction. We're going to make a little duder here. Reveal the top five cards of your library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. You keep one, and the rest go into the graveyard. I feel like I have a bond with Carlos. I need to get, we need to, I, I will I will try my best to deal with these okay. two. Um, so let's see what we got. We got two land. Oh, I haven't done anything mean to you. A spell seeker. I agree, but like you're doing a lot. A talisman and an Aurelia's fury. We'll do a land and a talisman in one and the rest in another. Yeah. Yeah, I will take these then. Enters unless you have two or more opponents. Fantastic. I will play my land. Tap one for a soul ring. Pass the turn. I'll draw for turn. I was uh, in a drought, and now I'm in a flood. <laughs> oh. uh, bountiful Promenade. Yeah, I'll do it all. Five, six, seven, eight. So I can leave two untapped. 
Master Commander. Now all of a sudden, hear me. I'm going to send these two at you, Bryce. And I'm going to send a 3-5 Commander at you, Astral. I got nothing that I can do, so I'll go to a 31. Birds will trump one and I'll take six. All right, I will then pass the turn. I'll untap and draw for turn. Play a mountain. Three. I'll lose a life to make a green off my talisman. Puzzle box for a green. Come on, big <laughs> money, big money. 14. There you go. Go to 36. I would like attempt to cast a Titan of Industry. When in ETBs, I can choose two modes. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Gain five life. Make a 4-4 four, four green rhino warrior. Or put a shield counter on target creature I control. So on ETB, I will choose modes. Destroy enchantment and make a 4-4. Four, four. I will select Viridian Rebel. I'm going to tap one, tap my Reflection of Kiki Jiki, and I'm going to target Titan of Industry. So I'll have a Hasty Titan. I'll choose mode for a Shield Counter and a second 4-4. Four, four. The Shield Counter will go on Zeatora. I will move to combat. Carlos, I'm going to declare my Copy Titan at you or for your trigger to double it to 14. Yeah, I'll take 14. The Zeatora trigger on the stack. I'm going to target the Copy Titan. Is that target a player? Yes, any target. Or is any target. Oh, uh, then I have to block just in case you want to kill me. I will block with a flump. While yeah, we are in combat. Yeah, let's back it up to combat. Sorry. Um, I'm going to cast this uh, pretty cool spell that says it's three mana and then strive. It costs two more for each target beyond the first. And then choose any number of target opponents. Create X 1-1 one, one human soldiers where X is the number of creatures they control. So it's cost three for the first opponent, then five, and then seven. But I get a reduction here and a reduction for these two. So I get a total reduction. reduction of four. So I pay three mana. Um, this gets a trigger. And I would like to know how many creatures everybody has. Uh, so eight. Eight for me. So five. 16. So I get 21 Oof. soldiers Oof. plus an elemental. Okay. Right, so I'm blocking six of the damage, and we actually uh, both draw a card. Oh no, target opponent. Yeah. Um, Bryce, you, you can draw choose. a card. Take eight. I have to sacrifice my token, so I'll put that on the stack first, and then see a Taurus trigger above. So I'll target the token, see a Tora. NG, I'm going to throw the 14 your way. I take it. That'll be it for me. I'll pass the turn. Untap. I'll keep draw. I just have to stay back and block is my best thing right now. You could attack Astral with Lelia. We'll try that. Astral's coming at you, so that'll trigger go up to five. I'm also going to lose one more point of damage, just because I think I cheated. I don't think I took a mana for the Confluence. And get a treasure. I will just block with like a 1-4-4, so I'll go down to one Rhino token. So I get a pig, I'll pay a Life Crasher's Bestiary. I will pass turn and probably die from a thousand cuts, because... Not yet. Uh, I think Astral's still the biggest threat, but... I shall untap, and I shall draw. I think it's time to go out in a blaze of glory. I'm going to attempt to kill all of you or none of you at all. So reality spasm for two mana, it costs one less for each creature I target. So I'm going to just target all of your creatures for free. So I'm going to put my little summoning sick guy back here. I will actually put a mana in my mana pool. And this is going to flip over my primal amulet. And it turns into a land that says you can tap to add mana of any color to your pool. When you cast mana this way to cast into instant or sorcery, you may copy it and choose a new target. I no longer get the discount here, but I'm going to target all three of you with the Aurelia's Fury. So I get three free damage. Well, you get a free damage per creature too. That's true. I guess I could just target all of your creatures for one. Yeah. So I just want to count, uh, count the damage here. So it's two to cast it. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Every creature and every person is going to take one damage from the free from yeah. Hanada. And right. then I have seven additional, and then I'm going to copy the spell. So that's 14. So these things will be dead just from that. I have to hit astrals for 28. Yeah. So this is 21, 20. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Uh -huh. Okay, so then I will hit Carlos with Hanada, putting you to 14, and I will deal the additional 14 damage to you as well. 
Any okay. responses from anybody? All I was going to do is sacrifice the artifact to create a mana so I could deal a damage before Disciple okay. did something. Then that damage would go to MTG Nerd Girl. Okay, sure. I go to 13. And it won't matter, but I'm going to Ghost Way. All my creatures will be removed from the battlefield until the end of turn, and they'll come back. Okay, then I'm going to have Astral's take two, Rice take two, and Carlos take 14 from the spell. I forgot about your two. I'm going to put you to four. And I'll do two additional to Bryce. I will go to combat and I will send 28 to Astrals and four to Carlos. And I'll be left with these three little idiots to attempt to not die to dragons. I guess untap, upkeep, draw. If this is a green mana, I win. If not, (gasps) you win. No! Flip it. Oh. Because um, I would have been able to play Endraiser Forerunner if I had uh, one more green mana. I thought you were hellbent. So I don't have enough mana. No, you should. A, you did the right play. I shouldn't have attacked you for sure. Either one. I shouldn't have sacrificed that sure. treasure. That's what killed me right it there. Is. I that Whoa, I it is. Whoa! It is. Wow. No, Bryce. Well, let's play this out. So what okay. I would do. I can tap that for green and that for red to play Gala. And then I'm going to pay an extra green to draw a card. So I pay the green and then I get a removal spell with green in the mana cost. So it's dead. I'm going to swing out at you. Trigger here. Draw or exile this card. Yeah. Captain Lenerary Storm. Okay, well, I'll block the three things that I can block. Three gets through in the air. So this one dealt damage to... Well, let's create the four treasure. Right here, this triggers. Whenever you attack with three or more creatures, you may discard a card at random. If you do, draw two cards. Left or right? Discard right. That's my Endraiser <laughs> Forerunners. <laughs> then I draw two cards. A wrinkle this damage. We're both going to pay a life and draw a card. I need to draw that extra combat thing, and it did not happen. There's my green mana I needed. I will play Captain Leonard Storm, paying an extra green to draw a card. Extra combat, please. How much nope. mana does that stuff cast? Yeah, well, some, some of them are of them five. Cost four or five, oh. yeah. Don't just sack then, random treasures out of nowhere for no reason, you know? Well, I was dealing the tra- damage. I didn't, no, I, I didn't, yeah, I should have kept it. Yeah. And I'm happy that the person killed me turn. Uh, wins the game, though, you know? Can Past I turn. officially untap and kill you? Yes. Woohoo! Uh, okay, I'm going to attempt to attack you for a lot. All of it. And I will take it all and die. Great. Woohoo! Nice. Champion! Awesome, well, congrats. I drew this, and I couldn't play it. Then I just mm. drew things that didn't help, and Let's nothing see. was coming. Now you know the the sphere of Hinata. To be honest, this is exactly how I saw this game ending. Hinata is no joke and can win out of nowhere if you're not careful. I was trying to avoid them, but I might need to put counter spells back in my Arcades deck. He gets killed so often that I need more direct ways to protect him. Either way, this was a fun game. Ziatora was super scary and way better than I thought, and Agnes put a ton of pressure on all of us. I love unconventional lords like him too. If you are enjoying our content and you want to become part of the kingdom, come join us over on Patreon at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. Speaking of which, a big shout out to our samurai patrons, Chandler Carlisle, Chris Crowley, Jason Gardner, John McManus, Jordan Ritchie, Morton Christensen, Revolution Gaming, and Worthy Glover. You are all the pillars of kingdoms. Thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy.